Hey y'all, I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. And more specifically, I'm going to be doing a CSS battle in this video. So we are going to try to build out this cool little owl looking thing called Push Owl in CSS. So let's just go ahead and give this a try. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the background of the body. So on the style tag, I'm going to add a body selector. I'm going to say background and I'm going to go ahead and paste in that color that's over there. And then what I would like to do is probably start off with the the left eye, I guess I could say. So I'm going to go ahead and add a class to this div. And I'm going to say like LE for left eye. That's not too confusing. And just go ahead and change that class to style that. And I'm going to change the background of this to that color. Okay. So first off is what you can tell is that the border on the bottom left, bottom right, and top right look like they're rounded. This little square over here looks like it might just be like a square that's added on and rotated. So we can try to figure that out. And then inside of it, it looks like a half circle. So that should be not too hard. So let's try to actually make the first shape of it. So I'm going to go ahead and say border top right is 50%. Uh, top right radius, I mean. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other. So I'm going to say top bottom right. And then I'm going to say bottom left. And right, so that should make the initial shape. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and use absolute positioning and just move this down instead of trying to center it. You know, what, let me let, let me just center it. I'll say display flex on the body just so I can center this thing and justify contents center and align items as center. All right, so that'll center it on the page. But notice that we'll probably have to move it up or down some probably increase the width too. Um, so let's just try to get this kind of centered a little bit. So I actually wonder if I could just keep increasing the width and the height and if that'll kind of put it in a good position. I'm not, not too sure. All right, let's just try to move it over some. So I'm going to give this a position of absolute. And then the body could be a position of relative. And then I'm going to say left is negative 50 pixels. Okay, that's not going to work. Let me do 50, 100 pixels. So that's probably too much. I'm going to say... 80 and that looks like it's a little bit closer but maybe 82 might look better or 81 that looks pretty good i think we need to move it up as well so i'm going to say top is 50 pixels i just keep on moving that down some until it looks good so maybe 80 or 68 7 68 okay that looks good and let's add the center little black circle so what i could say is inside of this div I'm going to add like another class, a div called like L E, you know, I'm gonna call it center because I think we can just kind of use that class for both of the eyes. And let's just go down here and make another class called center. So I'll give it a class. We're going to give it um, pretty much all the same stuff. And we can just modify this as is width and height. We'll just say like hundred pixels for both of them for now. The background is going to be this black. The border radius is going to be 50% for everything. So that's a full circle. Uh, let me get rid of that extra hashtag. And we want to center this, like instead of using left and right, we just want to center it directly on the div. So what I could do is add these three things, put them right on that. My bad, wrong stuff. Grab the wrong stuff. I need uh, these three. Display flex, justify contents and aligned items. All right, so that looks almost there. The circle that we made is probably too big. Let's reduce the size to like 95 and see where that puts us. Still a little bit too big, I think. So we'll try 94. Oops, wrong one. 94, 93. I think 93, 92 looked pretty good. All right, so for this little box here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an after. So I'm going to do on the LE, I could say like dot LE, pseudo element after, and I say content, give it an empty string. I say position of absolute width of like 75 pixels, height of 75 pixels, background color. I could just say background, and I'll give it that. And then notice here this is like rotated so i'm going to say transform rotate 45 degrees all right and then we can kind of position it 
by just giving it like a left of 50 pixels and a top of 50 pixels maybe. And ours is looking too big, so let's do 50 by 50, see if that makes it a little bit better. And then we could just keep moving it down. So let's try 100 and 100. Uh, okay, that was too much. Let's try 50, 50, no, 70, 70, 80, 80. Almost there. Try 90, 90. Ah, that's too much. Let's try 80 again and see if we get close. Um, I can't tell if R square is just too small, maybe. But it definitely needs to come down like four pixels, maybe. So let's do 84, 84. 83, 83. <laughs> At this point, it's just a giant guessing game. 85, 85. Cool, I think that lines up pretty good. I think the inner black circle though, now that I'm looking at it, it looks like it's too big. So let's try 90 for the height. I'm guessing 90 for the width is probably what we want as well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so now we have that thing that's kind of centered correctly. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be off by a little bit. Um, it looks like it's flashing like I think it's like off by a pixel or two in some of these locations, but I think that's okay Let's work on the right eye. So the right eye Is gonna be basically the same thing I can say right eye, but we're just gonna change the Probably the left and the top to be something else. So let's just copy this Say right eye and instead we say instead of left we say right and then instead of border top right radius being 50%, we can say top left. Let's see, border top left. And then the top right is going to be uh, just not defined. How about that? All right, so that looks like we're kind of almost there. We just got to do the pupils. And then also the right eye has a border of it looks like some black. So I can say 10 pixels solid. And let's do this black color and see what happens. Oh wait, what am I doing? Yeah, so <laughs> I think I had my slider in the wrong position. I thought everything was good, but we are definitely off. So the border top left radius and border bottom left needs to be like that. And then ours probably needs to be brought up for whatever reason. It needs to be brought up by like by 50, 40, 60. And then brought over to the right some, so I can say 78. This is kind of painful positioning this stuff. Um, I guess it's kind of close enough. All right, so my child woke up, so I'm going to try to finish up this video. Um, she's watching some baby sharks, so hopefully she won't make that much noise. All right, so what we need to do now is just kind of do the pupils. So inside both of these eyes, inside that center black circle, uh, let's just add another class called like pupil. And what we could do is just style that. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a pupil down here. And we can make that basically be a, a rounded, uh, like a circle with a border. So I can say border radius 50%. And then I could say border of know, 10 pixels solid that and give it a width like 20 pixels and a height of 20 pixels maybe. And then secondly, we want to basically add that centering stuff to that center class. And let's change this around. Maybe 10 is a better value. Um, and what we need to do is basically make the border on the bottom and the right transparent. So I can say border right is transparent. I think that's how you do it. And then border bottom. Oh, sorry, border bottom color, not right. Forgot about that. All right, so now what we could do is basically rotate it like 45 degrees. So I can say transform, rotate, 45 DEG. And that looks pretty good. Let's just move it down some. So I can say top is 10 pixels. Um, let's try 20 pixels. 
Wait, I forgot to give position a relative position. Relative. And let's move it back up some. So I'll try zero. I'll try four, three, two, or five. Pretty good. So yeah, we'll do that. And then basically we just have to do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to add a pupil inside of that. And there you have it. So unfortunately, mine is off by a little bit, but it's all cool. I don't want to waste too much time trying to get this perfect, but let's just submit it and see what we get. All right, so 99.7, you know, not too shabby. Um, if you enjoyed watching this, be sure to give me a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow. Also, leave me a comment below if you have another CSS battle that you want me to try to do. And then, like always, if you're new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button because I'm going to have a lot of videos like this in the future that can help improve your CSS knowledge and your web development skills. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Happy coding.